What is up, YouTube? Okay, Breaker Mighty here with a movie review. But let me just cut to some clean house business. Um, it's been a rough week, guys. Like, a really rough week. And I had a really rough day. <laughs> and and um, I was just really busy. And I kept forgetting to do a video. And, well, I'm here for the movie review because I just saw a movie. I literally just came back from a movie. A 1045 showing, by the way. Oh, I'm tired, guys. I It's almost 2 o'clock. And I popped the melatonin on the way home. So this is what we're dealing with. Um, and I'm drinking... CBD seltzer, 20 milligrams. I took all my vitamins. I'm about to eat a carrot because carrots give you weird dreams. I want some weird dreams. Anyway, <laughs> and I'm going to knock off my alarms after this. Uh, night routine meets movie review. Okay, Black Widow. Okay. It wasn't the Marvel movie I was waiting for. I'll say that. Um, I never really was a fan of Black Widow throughout the MCU. I mean, she was cool and she was all right when I saw her, but she wasn't really like my favorite character. Um Sorry. But Endgame, Endgame when she like sacrificed herself. Oh, by the way, there's going to be spoilers. I I can't control it. I'm just going to I'm tired, guys. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Um No filter here. But basically, I loved when she sacrificed herself on the cliff and i was like okay yes i'm a fan i'm excited for a movie um i liked it but i didn't i didn't love it i thought it had it's got some big problems <laughs> like i feel like i needed more of natasha and i like that a lot of the characters that were introduced to there's a lot of introduction characters, basically. And I guess you get that with any Marvel solo film. But... So, like, every character would open up little parts of her past. But then you would, like, get parts of their past. And it's like, well, let's dive into their story more. I feel like we're being spoiled with these Disney Plus series. Like, we're able to just deep dive into any little thing where you're like, I'd like to do a little note know a little more about that and they can just do a whole episode about it or like half an episode about it like i the mom i don't know the names very well i didn't pick up on it what is she called iron maiden she's supposed to be iron maiden is it iron maiden what's i don't know the mom basically <laughs> the mom um i thought her story sounded cool i would like to know a little more about her well, what's the point? Uh, Florence Pugh, uh, the sister, what's her name? Lena? 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 Elena? Elena. I keep forgetting. I, I just watched it. I'm tired. Um, She stole the show. I loved her. I didn't think I was going to love her, but I love her. <laughs> um, um, and David Harbour, I was skeptical about. I'm not, like, against David Harbour, but I was just like... What's he going to do in a Marvel movie? I was just a little curious. Um, but he was okay. Um, I feel like we could have just did a... What am I gonna say? We could have did, like, a lot in the beginning and then never saw him again. Like, he wasn't needed for the rest of the movie. Like, maybe do, like, a little bit more on his character, like, earlier in the movie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't make movies, so what do I know? <laughs> um, I was just like, some parts were like a little boring, some were like more interesting. He had tone, his character had tone deaf issues, or tone deaf? Is that the proper term? Where like, he would break the tension with some joke, and it's like, ah, funny, this is a funny joke, keep the joke going. But then it would just get really serious. And then like, he was fighting Taskmaster, who was, okay. I liked her, it was just fine. Um, very predictable too like very predictable <laughs> like, anyway um he was fighting to his masker masker i always say that and she's wearing a mask um i need to wrap up this review <laughs> um and it was like fun but then they kept cutting away and i was like can we watch more of that fight like come on I mean, there were good fight scenes, and Taskmaster was a fun fighter to watch. And I feel like it could have been like, a lot cooler if we watched David Harper's character play it more. <laughs> like, uh, it's, it's fine. It's whatever. Mm, 
I loved, um, okay, how do I say this part without being, like, flagged or reported? Um, I love the HT, and you can fill in the blanks, commentary about HT, basically. I like the commentary about HT in a very serious way. It's like, I like how they're getting a little more serious in these movies. Like, yeah, they're pretty serious with, like, Hydra comparisons to Nazis, and, like, PTSD with Tony Stark, but, like, lately, it's getting, like, heavier. <laughs> like, with Falcon and Winter Soldier, like, heavier. And I'm like, let's do it. Let's get a little heavier. I love it. Um, but after they did that, like, big opening, um, I loved the opening. The opening of the movie was just so, like, oh, origin. <laughs> I liked that. And then when she was, like, trying to find, like, well, she went to the trailer, and she was just, like, living a simple life. Like, mm, finally, I'm living a simple life. Uh, just, you know, hiding out, running away, <laughs> watching James Bond eating spaghetti. I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm edging my foot at the same time as I'm reviewing. I'm tired. Um, so, basically, I'm going to title this video Black Widow Review. I'm tired. Night routine. I've had a rough week. <laughs> If I don't want to get into it, I'm not going to complain about things um, on the internet. Complaining about things on the internet. Oh, such a white boy thing to do. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, what did I love about this movie? Mm, I liked a lot of the action. Oh, a lot of the outfits were cool. I liked their um, different jumpsuits and stuff. I like how she switched them from white to black. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like how she switched from, like, white to black at the end. Even though I didn't really like the end that much. When she was impersonating her mom. Not mom. <laughs> fake mom. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I like that whole, like, fake family of spies. That was a pretty fun um, topic. Yeah. Although I, I didn't like how, like... Okay, so this is how it, like, it wasn't a Black Widow movie. It was more, like, a about a Black Widow. It was about the Black Widow program, basically, and how it affected multiple people. And then we get Natasha. We know Natasha. So that's our way into the, the Black Widow program movie. Also, oh, okay, I'm into things I like right now. Let's, wrap, let's pick a few more things, and I'll talk about something I did not like. <laughs> like, um... I already said Florence Pugh. She was cool. I liked her. I did think the joke with her, like, posing. She said the joke, like, maybe two or three times. And I was like, oh, fun. But then she, like, did the pose. And I'm like, okay, you could have cut out one of those jokes earlier. If it was three jokes, you could have cut out one of those jokes earlier. And then did the pose joke. Like, when she did the pose. I, that that would have sold it on me. But I, at that point, I was just like, oh, another pose joke? Like, come on. Like... Stop making fun of Scarlett Johansson's poses. Like, she worked really hard on that. Where have you been? You show up in 2021 in a 2014 movie. <laughs> Talking about her poses and how she's famous. Um, yeah, she's been doing this game for like, I don't know, uh, like 12, 13 years? I don't know. Maybe 12 years. I don't know. She's been Black Widow for 12 years. Um, she can do her poses. <laughs> Hello. Um... Now, okay, I'll just get into the thing I don't like. The spaceship in the sky, the red room, it was covered in clouds. Like, uh, I don't buy that at all. Like, at all, at all. Um, A, the design of the spaceship red room was, it could have been cooler. <laughs> just, I'm going to say it. It looks like a little stick with a little propeller and another little propeller. And all those propellers have propellers. It's, it was kind of dumb, just to be honest. Um, also, a lot of the CGI did not look good. The prison CGI did not look good, like with the mountains and the, what do you call that, avalanches? The avalanches could have been way cooler. Come on, Disney. Disney, you could have done avalanches way cooler. <laughs> like Mulan, the cartoon? That avalanche was dope. Why can't you do something like that in the, oh my god. I can't. Anyway, and then also the spaceship one. It's not realistic. I didn't buy it. Because not only it looks stupid, like, 
we have satellites. Hello, satellites. People are flying planes around. Like, come on. What? Really? There's going to be a spaceship in the sky hiding? Now, cut to we find a spaceship in the sky in a cloud. Cut to that happening in real life and then be like, Breaker Mighty. Come on, <laughs> refer to this video. I swear, refer to this video. Because <laughs> I did not buy that at all. I'm so mad. I'm mad. Well, okay, so I, if I can give this movie a letter rating. Let's do a letter rating, like an A, B, C, D, F. Yeah, okay. I would give it a B, no. A C plus. A C plus plus? A C plus plus sounds fair. Yes. Um, and that's what I do. Um, anyway, ScarJo, if you're watching this, good job. You, you've ran this track for 12 years. They should have done your movie a little bit better, but it's out of your hands. You're just there doing your lines really good. Action scenes look good if you did your action scenes. I don't know. Um, they dressed you up nicely. I I love the costumes. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, your acting was great. That's all you do. You're an actor. You act. Well, that's not all you do. But <laughs> Anyway, ScarJo, don't feel bad. Don't listen to the haters. Don't listen to the haters. Look back at the 12 years and be like... Look at all that stuff, <laughs> you know, and this, I would, I would feel proud about adding this movie to the other 12, like someone cut together everything she's ever done in the movies and then put this movie after it. And I think it works. I think it works. I think it works. Um, does she eat a peanut butter? So she ate a peanut butter sandwich in Endgame? I would like that callback. We didn't get that callback. No. That would have been a nice callback. They did a bunch of callbacks. I'm appreciative of them all. But, well, the people are saying much. <laughs> I know. Also, they kept talking about Budapest with Cliff Barton. Hawkeye. Um... Why couldn't we get, like, at least one or two scenes with him? I know we got the scene where she was talking about, like, oh, the shot's clear. Like, but why couldn't we get, like, another scene? Like, another, like, her talking to Cliff Barton. Like, was Jeremy Renner? Is Jeremy Renner? No, he's not in trouble. I was like, is Jeremy Renner in trouble? No, he's not. He's got a show coming. He could he could have filmed it while he was doing the show with ScarJo. Like, oh, my God. There was potential. There was potential. That's why it's C plus. It's good. Not great. It was okay. Potential. Um uh, that's the key word of my week. <laughs> potential. Um I did have some videos planned. I just never got around filming them. So oh my gosh, I didn't clean house enough. Um I just talked about my night routine. I know my video game video of last week is upside down. I, what do you expect? What do you expect? If you watched 40 minutes of my video game playing, thanks. Or even a little bit of it. You can jump around, honestly. Um, <laughs> I don't care. But the next one will be better. I'll fix those technical issues. If YouTube, the YouTube department people if they could flip my video around that'd be great because i don't want to like take it down and re-upload i don't even know how to do that i'm pretty low maintenance guys you've seen my vi video game <laughs> video it's low maintenance um but i'll fix it next time next video game thing i don't know what i'm doing next for the video game but i do have other videos planned i just didn't get around to them i mean i could do one of them right now but i'm like i want to get a little more prep into it it's, uh, YouTuber life is hard. I'm tired as hell. I've been talking for 15 minutes. I'm done. Um, Black, go see Black Widow. Yes, go see Black Widow. Um, if, Here's a reason you should go see Black Widow. If you like movie theaters and you like female action movies, go watch Black Widow. Like, encourage the female action movies that you want to see. Because then that means, oh, they liked it. 
we'll make another one. Like, I don't know. I don't Make your own decision. <laughs> but until then, Breaker Mighty, bye. Ugh. Stop it.